Hello everyone, so in this video I am about to do the end to do benchmark test between the iPhone 13, iPhone 12 and iPhone 11 Pro Max as the iPhone 11 is not available today so I replaced it with the iPhone 11 Pro Max but now we are talking about the chipsets that we are gonna compare in this video so on the iPhone 13 we have got Apple A15 Bionic chip on the iPhone 12 we get Apple A14 and on the iPhone 11 Pro Max we get Apple A13 Bionic chip so let's do the N22 benchmark test to see the N22 scores of the Apple A15, A14 and A13 after the iOS 15.0.1 so without wasting any time I'm starting the test and here we go now I will speed up this test a little bit just to save your time and at the end of this video we will talk about the scores so stay tuned for that. Welcome back so you can see the benchmark result of the iPhone 13, 12 and 11 Pro Max. Now if we talk about the A15 Bionic and A14 Bionic so there is a huge difference and the Apple has much improved their latest processor which is the which is the A15 Bionic based on 5 nanometer architecture. Now I hope you guys have got the idea what's the difference between the A15, A14 and A13 Bionic. This is the result of this processor if you guys have got any question feel free to ask me in the comment section thanks for watching and as always i will see you in my next video